Adding just one ingredient to their breakfast changed the lives of 68 stage 4 chronic kidney disease patients forever. Their GFR started to go up instead of down and they were able to avoid the dialysis for years. Catherine here, in today's video, I want to share with you the only breakfast in the world that actually reduces your exposure to kidney damaging toxins. The aim is to get some of our kidney function back. Yes, this can be done despite what many doctors say. The kidney is the first line defense of the body against all the harmful wastes, scores, and toxins we come in contact every day. These toxins are what cause kidney damage. And while this may seem scary at first, it also presents an opportunity. It has long been thought that kidney cells didn't reproduce or regenerate, that kidney damage is permanent. This is not true. New research shows that the kidneys are regenerating and repairing themselves in a significant way all throughout life. What this proves is that once we stop what's damaging our kidneys, kidney function can be improved. This is exactly what happened in this new study. And today, we will see how to achieve this incredible result just by replacing our usual breakfast with this incredibly tasty and healthy recipe. This recipe has some very special ingredients in it. These superfoods are going to assist your kidneys in detoxifying harmful substances and toxins from your body. Drinking this smoothie regularly may help you detox your body from inflammation and excess cholesterol while lowering your blood pressure. And there is also one secret ingredient that actually removes excess uric acid, the cause of high creatinine levels. This can really help. Removing the toxins that damage the kidneys means giving them the chance to regenerate and recover. Yes, this is a very special recipe. Let's see it. First ingredient is cocoa. Some people don't believe me when I tell them this, but unsweetened cocoa powder is actually very good for you. Unsweetened cocoa powder is a minimally processed superfood with some really useful health benefits. Cocoa has been thoroughly studied recently and it's now linked to lower blood pressure when consumed in moderate amounts. And here is one of the most powerful detoxing foods in the world. This is celery. Celery is an excellent blood cleanser. Celery is not just a food. It has long been used as a traditional remedy for urinary tract health. It can really make a difference when eaten regularly thanks to its powerful diuretic, antimicrobial, and cleansing properties. Celery is probably the best friend of your urinary tract and kidneys. And now some flavor. This is a Williams pear. Oh, pears are really underestimated fruit, but they are incredibly useful when it comes to detoxifying the kidneys. First of all, eating pears regularly is associated with lower cholesterol levels, but also a single medium-sized pear like this one packs a whopping 6 grams of dietary fiber. Almost time to see the secret ingredient that makes this recipe special. A very important question before that. Why do they say that the kidney cannot be repaired? I've met a lot of patients to whom doctors gave very incomplete information about their disease and in some cases no information at all. They don't tell you how to manage the disease, how to put together a balanced diet to improve kidney function and what treatments can lower creatinine levels. Because that will be a lot of work, right? And there is just not enough doctors and they all have too many patients. But how can you improve your kidney function if you are not given enough information? This is why many people still believe that kidney disease can only progress to a renal failure and the only outcomes are a transplant or dialysis. Now, things are finally start to change and we can finally see that with a well set up diet and the correct therapies, there could be a chance. Now, this is a study that was published on the Journal of Functional Foods. It was conducted on stage 3 and 4 chronic kidney disease patients. And the results are frankly shocking. When a patient is in stage 3 or 4 of kidney disease, their GFR is supposed to slowly go down. Instead, when researchers 
started to administer just one supplement to these patients, their GFR went up for three months and then stabilized. Before that, let's see the rest of the ingredients for this incredibly powerful detoxing smoothie. Next, there is mint. Now, mint is so effective in improving the health of the gastrointestinal tract, it may even be prescribed as a treatment for irritable bowel syndrome. Remember that having healthy gut is the best way to protect the kidneys from excess toxins. And mint is also believed to have a powerful nephroprotective effect, meaning that it protects the kidneys from oxidative damage according to studies. Let's add some leaves to the blender. Next ingredient, this is a must in a smoothie, a source of healthy fat. These fats are really needed in a real diet that works and they will also add a creamy element to the recipe. Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts are low in potassium and phosphorus compared to other nuts and are great in terms of detoxing benefits. And they won't just make your smoothie taste great. Hazelnuts are great for those with diabetes. Study found out that eating hazelnuts regularly may improve insulin sensitivity. And another ingredient that's both very tasty and healthy, this is cinnamon. Cinnamon is a must for those with diabetes. Consuming cinnamon regularly directly improves insulin sensitivity, great to fight high blood sugar levels. According to studies, cinnamon can lower fasting blood sugars by 10 to 29% in diabetic patients, which is significant. And you just need to add this recipe to your meals to get this benefit. As an added bonus, cinnamon is also known to reduce heart disease risk factors. Cinnamon has both an antioxidant activity, helps fight inflammation, and has been shown to lower cholesterol and triglycerides in the blood. Now, if you plan to use cinnamon regularly, be careful with what variety of cinnamon you buy. There are two varieties of cinnamon. One is called Ceylon. This one I have here, and the other one is called cassia cinnamon. Here you can see it. Cassia cinnamon is considered lower quality because it contains comorbid, which can be toxic if eaten in large doses. This variety of cinnamon, Ceylon, is the best one. Always buy Ceylon cinnamon. And guys, if you are having trouble finding one or more of these ingredients, feel free to ask in comment section. Maybe I can help you find alternatives. One ingredient that cannot be replaced. This is an incredibly powerful natural fiber that, once in the intestines, binds to cholesterol, excess sugar, excess toxins, and helps the body excrete all these toxins through the feces, protecting the kidneys. It comes with several health benefits. It can help with diabetes, high cholesterol, weight loss, and high blood pressure, all according to several studies. Acacia fiber. Acacia fiber is the gum that's naturally made by the acacia tree. It's a 100% vegetable and natural, non-genetically modified remedy with incredible cleansing properties. It can directly decrease the amount of uremic toxins in the body, protecting the kidneys. Uremic toxins are the most dangerous toxins when it comes to kidney health. This is how the patients in the study I was mentioning were able to lower their creatinine levels so effectively and to improve their GFR. One thing that's especially meaningful about this study is that these patients were mostly in stage 4 of chronic kidney disease. Just by taking 25 grams a day of acacia fiber, they completely stopped the decline of their renal function for the whole duration of the study, a year. They had averaged a 11% decline in kidney function before starting acacia fiber. But after starting to take acacia fiber, kidney function went immediately up and remained on the new improved levels for the whole duration of the study. This is why researchers concluded that when taken orally in therapeutic dosages, acacia fiber can effectively protect the kidneys and delay dialysis even in those in stage 4. But it's not all. Acacia fiber was also used in a study on renal failure patients in stage 5 of CKD who wanted to avoid dialysis. The result was astonishing, as all the participants of the study were able to live several years dialysis-free. 
Now guys, I will just use one tablespoon of acacia fiber in my smoothie today. Remember that all the ingredients are for two servings. This is because you don't want to take too much dietary fiber supplement as first if you are not used to it. However, if you want to use acacia fiber to slow down kidney disease, the recommended dose is higher. In the study on stage 3 and 4 patients, they were administered 25 grams of acacia fiber in 250 milliliters of water. Stage 5 patients took a more tailored to the dose, 0.5 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. And this was in combination with a low protein diet. And guys, remember that you should always consult the doctor before starting this or any other supplement. Acacia fiber is very safe, however. In this video, I wanted to show you that kidney disease can be reversed even in stage 4 and even without having to do a complex or expensive treatment. But you have to take really good care of your kidneys. The kidneys can easily be damaged when there are too many toxins in the body. The kidneys have to deal with everything our bodies go through. The pollution in the air, the stress of our day-by-day -day lives, the toxins in certain foods and medications, everything that the body comes in contact with can increase the number of toxins the kidneys have to filter. This is why a smoothie with powerful detoxing properties like this one can really help. So if you want to see more recipes like this one, this video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.